Create a Kotlin file to design simple calculator Android app with Kotlin. Select an empty activity. Name your project and complete the file creation process. Add the required extensions to the Gradle file. Run and test your project. If you don't see your app startup layout on the phone screen, check your setup file. Let's start with the calculator design. By clicking the Show System UI button, we can see how the Android application will appear on the phone. This is an advantage for us when designing. We will use two plain texts to enter numbers. Delete the texts. Specify ID to access plain texts while writing code. This is how we can use the numbers we get from the user. Add four buttons to perform mathematical operations. Change the text of the buttons. Add a text to see the calculation results. Delete and change the name. Specify the ID to access the result text. Click the Infer Constraints button for the design to appear in the phone app as you designed it. Run your app and test how it will look on the phone. We have completed our design. Let's start coding our project. Specify the on-click names to assign tasks to the buttons. We need to specify different on-click names to assign a separate task to each button. We will use the on-click names we have determined to assign tasks to the buttons. We will create four functions to assign tasks to our four buttons. Let's create two variables inside the function. We will use IDs to access plain texts when creating variables. We convert it to string first and then to null or double. The reason for this is to prevent our Android application from crashing if the user presses any of the buttons without entering a value in the plain text that should be entered. Likewise, we specified a value in the second digit. If A and B variables are null, we create an error message so that the program does not crash. This error message will appear in the result text. If the variables are not null, the calculation will be done and we will see in the result text. Instead of recreating all other functions, we can only change mathematical expressions with the copy and paste method. Run the program and test it. Make sure the program shows an error message instead of crashing when you enter a null value. Don't forget to develop this project. You can develop your other Android applications by following the project steps carefully. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts to see the posts about programming.